challenge, transform, ascend, cleanse, and explode. So what exactly are we eating during these six weeks we go through this big cascade of events? You're eating everything. I mean, this diet is about a variety of foods. Every meal in the book is spelled out for you with options. You're a diabetic, you have food allergies. All these things can be substituted, but I lay it out for you. Uh, the first thing, and there's three important components, uh, and meal spacing. Meal spacing is important, by the way. Meal spacing, this book, it says you must eat four meals a day, and you have the options of three snacks. That way, you aren't hungry as much, and you distribute your calories even throughout the day. And you can see all these great foods, grilled cheese, fruit, omelets. This is stuff that's going to, the salmon, which is my favorite. This will fill you up, but also keep your hormones stable. So let me explain to everybody why meal spacing can help you shred fat. When you eat small meals, it's very different than big meals. So you have danger zones. If you have too much insulin, you get too much fat crafted. But if you have too little of that critical hormone, you'll also build fat. So there are danger zones on both sides of what you eat. When you have these small meals that Dr. Ian's talking about, especially if they're low uh, glycemic food, you cycle like this. You never push your insulin so high that it creates fat. You never plummet so far off the radar screen that you build fat because your body's panicked and building stress. Now, a lot of us eat two or three meals a day, right? You get home at the end of the day, you haven't eaten anything all day long, and you do this. A huge meal, and, you know, and when that happens, you spike up your insulin, and then you plummet into danger zones when your body again panics. And both of those are these fat danger zones, which is why you want to stay out of those places if you want to shred fat the way Dr. Ian was describing. The next thing you point out to us is you have crafted the most miraculous calorie roller coaster <laughs> I've ever seen. Why is it's, that so important? It's important to keep your body off kilter, to keep your metabolism off kilter. By eating different amounts of calories, as you can see in different weeks, we start off pretty high in calories, and then as we work our way through the weeks down to week three, we have a decrease in calories, and then we go up in calories. That's important because your body keeps the metabolism going much better. So let's do this again. This is important. You start up big week one. You sort of get into the program. Less than week two. You, at the lowest point in week three, which is why some of our guests said it was the hardest week for them. And meant to be. And meant to be. Mm -hmm. And then you've come to the bottom. Now you go back up again. And you swing with more food and more items that you're allowed to eat. So this cascade of events takes you through, over a six-week cycle, the perfect metabolic recipe for shredding fat. And notice, you can have pizza. I mean, yes, this is a real plan for everyone who's going to have, have pizza and burgers and lasagna. We teach you how to eat it in proper portions so it's healthy and doesn't hurt you. The last item that you focus on is, is a detox yes. uh, program. Now, i got to say, most of the time, the detoxes are over there in week one. But you put yours way at the end of the plan. Why is on that? On purpose. Because detox, first of all, let's say what detox is. Detox is cleansing your blood system. Your liver cleanses your blood system mostly. And the idea is activate enzymes in your liver. This is an eating detox, which means it's not a fast. You're getting all the nutrition you need, but the foods are naturally detoxifying you. The second thing is a physical cleanse. More fiber, as you know, Mehmet, takes the food, processes it better in your system, and releases it. So we're doing two detoxes. We're doing a blood detox and a physical detox. I start here, and, I, and it's at the end, by the way, of the diet, because people are intimidated by detox in the beginning. Yeah. You know, you don't want to go right in the beginning to this radical detox. This is a very gentle way of introducing it. Uh, one important thing is flaxseed oil. So flaxseed and lemons are awesome for detox. And I tell people, you know, whether it's cold water or hot water, you just... Squeeze some lemon in there, and it's just so good. I also love the taste of lemon water because, yeah. it, you know, lemon water can be so bland. It feels fresh. It feels fresh. Also, you could take your, your oil, pour it in there. Okay, now, here's the thing. You can mix it up and drink it like this, and a lot of people like it like this. But the other thing is, and I love this, is you can have the ground flaxseed. Mm -hmm. So you can take this, you can bake it into a muffin, you can put it into your shakes, mm -hmm. right? Because some people don't want the oil. So th these are great options. Uh, the hibiscus tea is awesome because it has antioxidants. And you can find this anywhere. Once again, this diet is easy and accessible. Antioxidants, as you know, fight the free radicals that can cause cancer and other problems in our system. Lastly, this is a week of no alcohol. <laughs> Oh, okay. There's this a is catch. The, right. Has to be a catch. Right. Well, no wonder they said week five was hard. That's right. <laughs> the whole diet, you can't have alcohol in this program. Absolutely. It's encouraged. But in week five, we're cleaning our system. It's encouraged because that's how people are going to do they're it. hanging on your every word. <laughs> <laughs> what I don't want people to do is think that they're cheating on a diet. Cheating is a bad thing mentally. So I incorporate things. Cranberry juice, 100% is awesome for you and this is these are some of the components of detox a lot of le leafy green vegetables things like beets activate those liver enzymes clean out your blood this is on top of 
the regular six, seven meals you're having. Oh, yeah, you're going to, this is, these are additions. You're going to eat your okay. four meals and three snacks still in detox. It's an eating detox. So we've got millions of folks now. They're going to do the six week plan. They're going to lose, uh, you know, a couple inches. Uh, they're going to lose two dress sizes. That's right. Six weeks are up. Now what do they do? It's a cycle diet, which means that if you've hit your target after the first six weeks, fine. If you haven't, you do another cycle in a different order. But here's the key. Once you've hit your target, you're now in maintenance. So every four weeks, you choose any week you want on the diet and just do it. When you've kept your weight off for the period of six months, you've stayed flat for six months, then you only do, need to do a week of the diet every eight weeks. So this allows you to tune up your bike like your car. You take your car in to get tuned up. Right. You don't wait till your car breaks down because it's expensive and inconvenient. You wait and do it earlier so you don't have major problems. So we tune up every four weeks or eight weeks. All right. Up next, Dr. Ian's three S's, three simple secrets to help you shred the weight for good. Don't miss it. We're back with Dr. Ian Smith. He's here with the three S's, his simple secrets to shred the weight for good. We're going to start with the first S, which are shredder smoothies. Why do you love smoothies so much for shredding weight? I love smoothies because they are accessible, they are portable, you can take them with you. They are calorie confined, meaning you can control how many calories in it so you know. If, if the diet calls for 250 calories, you know what goes in there. But also they're so chock full, and, and you love the juice also, they're so chock full of nutrients. For example, this is my, one of my favorites. Uh, this is the Energizer. It's uh, blueberries, ton of antioxidants, berries are always great. Uh, we have tons of pears in here. Wire pear is good for the fiber we mentioned before. Take a little dollop of uh, little yogurt in there. Yeah, you need me eventually. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. And then, who knew it was going to be cooking in a second? And then a little sugar for a little taste because you're allowed to have it. And then, you know, you mix this up and this is what you get. I mean, taste this. It's just awesome. I made you one. I made you one. Oh, it's really good. It's thick, too. It's thick. It makes you feel full, and um, it just, it's just wonderful, and it's so energizing, so I call it the Energizer. Yeah, folks in general will lose more weight if they have liquidy, you know, you know high-nutrient foods rather than all that stuff we always throw in our body. And here's the other part. Sometimes people are on the go, and they, need to, they, they can't get to their food. You can get smoothies now almost anywhere, in the corner deli, in a grocery store. So a smoothie allows you to keep your nutrition going even while you're busy during the day. You keep going. I'm going to, I'm going to be drinking Okay, this. yes. So These are shredder snacks I'm right. to show you. Now, shred snacks have a philosophy behind it like the rest of the diet. The idea is this. Snacks are bridges between meals. They're not meals. We consume too many calories at snacks. That's what your meal is for. So in the back of the book, we have over 200 snacks that are classified by the calorie count. Look at this. Now, also, you're, you're, you want to have tasty. You don't want to always eat what I call rabbit food. You don't always want to eat carrots <laughs> and right. celery, right? You have shrimp. You can get eight shrimp. Uh, very nice, you know, with the sauce. You can have olives that are stuffed with blue cheese. One of my favorites is the chocolate banana, right? You can have pizza. I mean, you have your, your whole grain. Always try to go 100% whole grain or whole wheat. Yeah. Muffin. You have some tomato on it and some cheese. These are snacks that will really fill you up and will prevent you from eating so much at the meal. And here's the third S. The third S is a shredder soup. And this is the one that we're going to, you know, these are going to be available to you all anyway online. But this one I want you to remember. Why are soups so important to shredding weight? Soups are great for three major reasons. One, they're easy. Um, you can make them quite easily or you can get them almost in any restaurant. Right. So if you're out at a party or something, you can always get a soup. Secondly, you can look at the calorie count. Once again, you want to be aware of what the calorie count is. And by the way, when you're eating soups, make sure you look at the sodium level. A lot of soups are high in sodium. I like you to stay beneath about 180 milligrams uh, of sodium. And the third thing is you can make a soup in the morning or the night before, put it in a, a, a little package and take it with you. Right. So it's, this diet is all about being convenient. This is my wife's favorite soup, my soup uh, that she loves. It's a chicken noodle soup. It is so good. It's full of just full of vitamins, mm. minerals, and nutrients. And it fills you up. That's the key, right? We want to stay full. Yeah. You know, it's it's good, it, right? it, this, it feels like you'll lose weight on this. It's got you, the right mix. And you add maybe a little salad with this, and you're still under 500 calories for the meal. All right. It is sticking around. You can go to DrRouse.com for all these recipes. And please pin your favorites on your Pinterest board. Up next, from arm fat to butt fat to belly fat. I'm going to show you how to shred all your fat in just five minutes. Stay with us. Yeah.